curious. How may I help you today? If you don't have a pass, looks like a valid pass to me. And you go. Let him through! We don't let just anyone have a class, you know. Get some experience in Bowerstone and Oakvale first. Clear off. Now what the boss told me to look after this area, he's having a party. And that includes not letting anyone through this door, apart from the hostages providing the entertainment. And that's what I'm going to do. Got it? Look, unless you've got an emergency that needs my attention, scram! Come to look at Twin Blades Entertainment. Ain't they just lovely? <laughs> Gonna be a fun party, all right. Ciao, ladies. Looking forward to Twin Blades Entertainment. The guard has the key. Get it off him. Should be. You were it. <laughs> All right, you've had your look. And I've got the only key, so you ain't getting anything else. have escaped! Grab them before they get away! Get up, you horrible bunch of layabouts! Well done. The gate is open. You can go to Twin Blades area now.
waiting for you. Stand back, lads. Twinblade wants a word with this little hero. been fed for days. You don't look like much of a meal, though. Draw your blade, kill puppets. Let's see what you're made of. Don't be scared. Twindle will take care of you. Will take care of you.
potions or food? your own sister. Her past once again before her, Teresa's memories returned in a blaze of fire. Oakvale was burning. She watched in silence as the bandits tortured her mother, then turned to her with questions of the missing boy. She answered them only with a stare and so their leader sliced out her eyes. The raiders took the boy's mother and left Teresa alone in the forest. There she crawled for three days, blind and desolate, until she was found by bandits, Twinblade and his men. She began a new life of servitude among their clan, But the bandit king sensed her exceptional strength and power of will and listened as she whispered dark prophetic truths in her sleep. Those who could never accept this small blind girl standing by their master's side did not last long. When they attacked, she killed them without mercy and without emotion. For this was her place in the world now. I've seen so many things. So much killing. So much dying. I've seen you, little brother. In a ring of sand and blood. An arena full of secrets. And I've seen the choice you'll have to make one day between the darkness and the light. Teresa! I'm sorry, Twinblade. Your path is alone now. All our paths are. But before I leave, brother, I have a present for you. For all the birthdays I've missed. A power that runs in our family. He finds you when you're sleeping and when the daylight fades. What are you waiting for? Finish it, or leave me alone. I'm dead anyway. 
I'm no one's king anymore. That was a very impressive victory, Hero. But Maze has more news for you at the Guild. I suggest you return here at once. 
You've received a new quest card. Check the guild for more quests. You should speak to Maze. He's waiting for you in his quarters, located in the big tower at the back of the guild. So, you really found your sister? <laughs> I'd never have imagined her living among bandits. You've really come a long way these last few years, haven't you? People are starting to ask when they'll see you in the arena, out in Witchwood. But before you go wandering again, I've left a quest card of my own. A favor, if you will. An old friend of mine has gone missing, calls himself the archaeologist. He may have stumbled onto something big, perhaps big enough to put his life in danger. There's a rumor that he may be hiding somewhere in Witchwood. That is, if he isn't dead already. You can use a Cullis Gate to get there. I only hope it isn't too late. You've received a new quest card. I'm pleased to serve you. Oi! Stop being so annoying, you runt!
him around. Chalk chat. 